Today we're gonna unbox the Tribe Beauty box. I believe this is the February box. I was looking at my history because I was not expecting this to come. Based on my history, my last unboxing was in September, which happened to be the August box. Now this is a bi-monthly subscription. You're gonna pay $39.99. You're gonna get five full-size beauty products. I know it's like 40 bucks, but you're like, 40 bucks? I'm only getting five products, but it is bi-monthly. This was sent to me so that I can unbox, reveal, and kind of like play around with the products and tell you whether I like them on and give you an honest review and feedback. Why did I not get it in the past few months? I don't know. And because these are sent to me in PR, I obviously am not gonna say her reach out and go, where's my box? Cause that's, that's just rude. So I don't do that. It shows up, it shows up. Instead of a box, I'm getting the bag. Maybe because one of the items is way too big for the box. That would make sense. Typically, if something is way too big for the box, because it's a small box, then they'll do one of these like little uh, bubble mailers. I got a card, but the card doesn't have any price points. It says, we are committed to helping you discover the best in indie beauty. It is an indie beauty uh, subscription, so bear that in mind. And then there's a code for a discount. I do have a discount code in the description box for you guys if you want to get some money off your very first box make sure you check down below it is an affiliate link so i'll get a little bit of a uh, referral commission if you will so if you choose to use that i'd really really appreciate it and then we have like the thank you for your order i didn't order this it was sent to me and if you're new to the channel me have don't worry we're gonna try the products out at least some of them i don't know because i don't know what's being featured we'll see product number one happens to be this little makeup bag here i already own one it's actually in miami and that's where i have like all my brushes in in my miami makeup bag so i'm gonna set this over to the side what happened to the bag though mine was like in perfect shape. I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's defective, but there's, I mean, you see this, it's not dust. I don't know that you guys can see what I'm seeing. Okay, no, no, no. It's one of those things, if you wipe it down, then you're good. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna set this over to the side because I already have one. I can't give you price points of anything and that's kind of disappointing. A lot of beauty brands have stopped adding prices. I mean, Foxy Charm stopped, including like the products that are being featured in a card. They stopped that, which is frustrating because they want to know how much everything would retail for. What if I love a particular product and I want to buy it and gift it to somebody? Now I wouldn't know. Now I have to go out of my way to research it to just find out it's really affordable. Yes. I'm gonna buy two or three or it's really expensive and I'm gonna skip on buying it. It's one of those things like I just I like seeing price points in a box. Maybe it's more cost effective for them not to print out cards with specific price points. I really don't know. Then I ended up getting this. This is the melting mud cleansing mask. It's a three-in-one formula, mild cleansing, pore cleanse. I think I've tried this before. Let me check it out and smell it. I like mud masking. It's like a melting bomb. Yeah, I've tried this before. It's like a melting bomb, but instead of it being like a bomb that you have to dip your fingers into, you can just squirt it onto your hands. I'm not mad at this. And considering it's a squeeze tube, I think it's a really nice size because it would be the same equivalent of what you would get solid in a little tub. I'm not mad at her. Then we ended up getting, I think this is, is this a lippy? Yeah, a purple. No, it's an eyeliner. A purple liquid eyeliner it says showing by the balm the balm has really great product and i wish that way more beauty boxes featured them however i feel like they need to start upgrading their packaging and do a little something different because it's kind of like the same old same old you know it's not necessarily a purple it looks very coppery to me and then what is this why did i think this was mace doesn't it look like a cute little, oh, protect yourself mace thing? I like the packaging. Oral fixation, is it 2004? Yeah, it is a high shine lip, it's a lip gloss. PH Cosmetics, it says Iggy XBH. It sucks because now the packaging goes in the garbage and this is actually a pretty cool little thing. I wonder if I can take it out and repurpose it, I don't know. Made for my like keychain, that would be cute. It's a pretty shade. It says, is it 2004 yet? That's the name of the lip gloss. You are gonna get a chubby applicator, which I think a lot of people prefer a bigger applicator like this. And then here we have the lip gloss swatched. It's a pretty gold. Doesn't smell like anything. And it looks very, very glittery. I wonder if you're gonna feel the glitters on your lips. I don't know. And then last but not least, I got a Suva Beauty palette. And you guys know Suva Beauty has some beautiful formulas and color stories. So I'm excited for this. This is the Magic and Ecstasy palette. Look at this packaging. Oh my goodness, this packaging screams iconic. 
Girl, what is this? This is stunning. Look at these mattes. The yellow looks a little chalky, but yellow is one of those shades that is very hard to mix and create. But here's the thing. It does look a little chalky on the, like on my finger, but then it might look amazing on the eyes. And Suva Beauty has never disappointed, so you know we're gonna play around with these. And they have a black, which I'm so happy about. Oh yeah. Let's prep the skin, the face, all of that, because we're gonna play around with color. I brought you guys close up. I'm going to prep my lids with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in white. You guys know I always do fair, sometimes medium, cocoa specifically if I'm going to do like a smoky eye, but we're using bright colors. White is the way to go today. I just did a very small little dot. That's all you need. And that's way too much already, I promise you. Blend it out. Those of you who have already accessed all these sales that have been happening and grab your clean canvases. I hope you guys are enjoying them as much as everyone else is. And if you've missed out on the sales, I always have a discount code in the description box below. Make sure you find that I have like a very small cluster of discount codes. I used to have way more discount codes, but I've become more selective with like my affiliate codes and that kind of thing. But here's the kicker. If you are subscribed to my channel and you hit the notification bell, every time there's a sale, I will let you guys know. I will alert you over in the community page. You'll get an alert on your phone if you hit notification bells is what I'm saying. That way you're not gonna miss out on any future sales. When is the next sale, girl? I don't know. I'll find out soon and let you guys know for sure. But there's always a sale, so be ready. Just, just be ready. I kind of want to do orange and yellow. Yeah, let's do orange and yellow. I'm going to grab a brush that look like this. Now this here is the Precision Eyelid by Complex Culture. I chose this one because the tip is fairly, fairly uh, thin, but it's still fluffy enough to pick up enough product. I am going to dip into Metaphor, which is the orange, but I'm only going to use the very tip and I'm going to press this tip. I'm going to do it like this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to press this tip here on the outer crease area and I'm just going to press the pigment that's on the brush onto the outer crease. See, as I'm pressing, it's kind of blending. I'm gonna bring it somewhat in. I don't want it to be super harsh quite yet, which is why we're going very light-handed. And I am dipping right back into the pen as necessary. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I'm gonna build that orange onto the crease and make it nice and deep, but I don't want a crazy heavy looking orange being blown out of proportion. So starting small works. It's a little baby steps, just so that I can get some of the hue on in there. I went back into the pan and I picked up way more product. At this point, I am able, see, to press it and make it even heavier. Trust the process, guys. I know you're like, wait, what? And then I'm gonna grab a clean, fluffy brush. This one by Ofra. It is their Professional Makeup 21. I love her. I only have two of them, but I'm obsessed, so I make sure I keep them clean because these are perfect for this outer area. See how sparse and fluffy the little hairs are? Just does the trick. So I'm gonna go along this outer edge area and diffuse that, because again, I don't want it to be super heavy, but I definitely wanna have that orange infused into this look. Now, maybe if there would have been like a salmon shade, I would have skipped all of this and I would have gone straight into the crease with the orange, salmon on the outer, like the outer portion of it, and then work the yellow onto the crease. But we're gonna work around the fact that we don't have a salmon because this palette is beautiful and I know we can come up with something pretty cool. And then I'm gonna go right back in and do the very same thing. By the way, I'm using my new ring light. I mentioned recently, don't worry, the video I am in process of editing it it should go up this weekend I'm bringing up the ring light because it's so close up that I can actually see everything that I'm doing it makes my face brighter which allows you guys to see exactly like the colors and stuff but I guess the question is is it too bright for you or do you like it because it illuminates my face enough to where you guys can see exactly what's happening like make sure you let me know in the comment section what do you guys think or would you rather I just turn off the extra little tabletop mirror situation because it's just way too much. I'm gonna apply a little more of that white because we want this to be nice and bright and then with a flat synthetic brush I'm just gonna kind of clean out that crease area a little bit. 
With an Ofra Pro 03, I'm gonna dip into Trans. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush for this. And I like this one because it's fluffy, but it's still fairly small and the tip is very narrow. I'm gonna tap that on the inner corner, build it there, and then work my way through. Tapping will allow you to set that primer. It's gonna grip onto that shadow like a magnet, and it's gonna give you full opacity if the quality of the eyeshadow is good. You guys, do you remember when I was struggling with a yellow eyeshadow from another palette and I was so mad because I really wanted to create a fun look for you guys but it was just not happening look how easy this one is she's looking really pretty i'm gonna build it in here so happy this worked out yes with the super duper thin brush this is oh who are you oh this is a p louise brush i dipped into the orange and now i'm gonna concentrate this on the crease out here i want to build it up i'm doing like very small circular motion and i'm gonna bring it right about here where my brow starts to thicken i don't want to go too further in that same brush we used to diffuse the outer portion we're gonna diffuse again i want this area here to be somewhat soft so we're not bringing this brush with product forward. We are gonna blend whatever's here in and it'll give you a cute little hue while keeping it soft. So I'm between a rock and a hard place cause I kinda wanna do something at the bottom. I don't know that I should do orange, although orange would look amazing, but I kinda wanna play around with the purple. Should I do like a blue and purple look next? I'm really debating here. It's been decided we're going orange. I'm gonna take that brush that I used the orange with. I'm gonna apply that down here. No additional product. I'm just gonna kinda blend it vigorously and see how much we get out of it. I feel like we'll get a decent amount because these are really pigmented. I wanted to get into that purple so bad, but then again, I can use it in a whole other look. And adding purple was gonna give me like Barney and Baby Bop vibes. <laughs> we're not. We're not trying to go that route today. So we'll keep it nice and bright in honor of spring hopefully showing up really soon here in Florida. And I'm gonna do one of these just to kind of like make sure that everything seems pulled up. I'm gonna apply a black liner on the waterline. I'm gonna skip on the eyeliner. I'll explain later. But I will use my NYX Vivid Matte in Black. This thing is amazing. You guys need to check it out. And I do have a full review on this product and it's drugstore, so you might wanna try it. Here are the eyes with just liner. Of course, I need to go in with mascara and lashes. I'm gonna use the Masterpiece line by Kiss Lashes. The style I'm gonna use is an avant-garde and they're so fluffy and pretty. I'm hoping it all kind of like works out, so. Let, let's see what it looks like. You guys, I really like the eyes. I'm gonna do a little fine tuning, no additional product. I'm gonna emphasize the crease with whatever's left on the brush. That yellow is insanely good. I'm gonna line my lips with my Dragon Beauty 2.0 CCs. And yes, my lips look slightly plumper, but I'm using my lip plumper again because by doing that, it allows for my lips to look way more hydrated, less crackly, and my lip balms work better. So I started doing it again. I stopped plumping my lips at home because I was being lazy, but I'm so over them looking so crusty all the time. And do me a favor, skip on the plumpet lip plumper. Do not spend the money. Years and years and years ago, I did a full on review on it. I tried it on camera and it felt like my lips were frying in a frying pan with oil in it it burns it's it's overly hyped and it does fade away within like an hour or two you can't lick your lips or you get that product in your mouth and now your mouth is burning like you ate a hot pepper and then on top of that once you apply product on top it fades away faster so just don't do it i know it's like overly hyped right now all over tiktok everyone's jumping in on the bandwagon because the brand is sending it out to people I bought it years ago and it's just not worth it in my opinion. Don't do that to yourself. I am going to try the lip gloss. I haven't tried BH Cosmetics in forever. One of the first brands I ordered like online from. I used to love their product. You know what? It's a nice gold. It goes with the eyes. It's pretty much going to go with every single eye look that you create and or just plain everyday no makeup makeup looks it's gonna look really pretty and i think it'll look best if you do like a nude even a baby pink like a like a pinky or a brownie nude lip liner is gonna look beautiful now here's the thing the eyes are looking great i can keep it matte but i also feel like i need to do a little something something right so i either go in with orange glitter or the yellow glitter and right now the yellow is screaming my name there's a little bit of a shift in there of orange so i think it's gonna work i'm gonna tap <gasps> that is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna tap this just so that I can get a little something something on the eyeball. 
And of course there's areas where I kind of apply glitter where I didn't want it. So I'm gonna brush it away gently. Some of it will stick, but that's okay. It looks so pretty, I'm not mad at her. Let's get into my product roundup. The makeup bag is nice. I like that it says Tribe Beauty. The hollow in it is really cool. I really like the bag, which is why I kept the one that I received several years ago. I don't know whether or not this was featured in a previous box, so this may or may not be a repeat for some of you guys. They don't really include bags in their subscription service, so this is, this is good. This is an okay item. If this was an every single month thing where they're gonna include a bag, at this point you're replacing a makeup product for a bag I would say no so right now this is a thumbs up it's good it's a nice sturdy bag and like I said I kept mine so somebody's really gonna enjoy this one melting cleansing mask I've tried it I like it it lasts a good while and it's easier to use because you could just squirt versus the scooping up so this is a yes for me the lip gloss is nice I don't feel the glitters on my lips it is a BH cosmetic so it is a more on the affordable end but they sent over a shade that works for pretty much everyone so this is a yes for me and no, I'm not gonna let Ty take this one. The liquid liner by The Balm. I'm gonna keep it, I'm going to use it, but for the concept that I was going with today, I didn't feel like this was gonna work. It is not necessarily purple, it's more of a copper and it has a shimmer effect to it. It's slightly, kind of like it wants to be metallic, but it isn't. You see what I'm saying? So it's between like a maroon, a copper, and some sort of a red, almost a wine color. And for me, that's just gonna be a no for today's look, but I'm really excited to see what this can do on the eyes, how it emphasizes the look and all that stuff. And then last but not least, the Silver Beauty palette. Yes, 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 yes. Listen, looking at everything overall, had this palette not been the one in the box, I would have said not worth the $40, just not worth it because it's a bag, a lip gloss, a liner, and then a cleansing balm. I would have been like, where's the makeup? What can I use to get glam? Because for $40, I need something to help me get glam. This did it. So yeah, if it wasn't for this palette, I'd 100% would say skip on this $40 box. As always, I wanna hear your thoughts, so make sure you have left your comments down below. Make sure you go check out the giveaway that is currently live. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button for me. And just cause this video is over doesn't mean you have to click off, guys. I have all these other reviews I know you're gonna absolutely love. I have wear tests of two different foundations, new product reviews, trials, unboxings, and I just placed an order at Sephora for other foundations I know you guys wanted to see, so be ready for that. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.